Hi, today we're gonna read Mortimer's First Garden by Karma Wilson and illustrations by Dan Andreessen. There's Little Mortimer. Little Mortimer Mouse looked outside. Brown, 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 he squeaked. Nothing but brown. Too dull, too drab, too dreary. Mortimer longed to see something green, anything green. Well, at least I have these, he, and he nibbled the shell of one of the three sunflower seeds that he had saved. Nothing is as good as sunflower seeds, he said. Just then, the big people came into the room. One of them said, children, it's springtime. What does that mean? Garden time, shouted the children. Munch, 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 munch. Mortimer nibbled on his treat. What's a garden, he wondered. Do you all have your seed packets? Yes! Mortimer perked up his ears. Seeds, he squeaked. Anything about seeds could be tasty. Mortimer, Mortimer nibbled on the shell of his second seed. Munch, 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 munch. Delicious. Everybody, look at your seeds. They are small. But imagine, we can put them in the dirt with a little water and sunshine, and they will grow, grow, grow. One small seed turns into many more seeds or vegetables. It's a springtime miracle. Mortimer giggled at the thought. I don't believe a word of it. Seeds are for eating. Who would throw perfectly good food in the dirt? He picked up his last seed and looked at it. But what if the miracle is true? Mortimer wondered. Can one little seed turn into many? Let's go plant seeds and soon everything will be green. Oh, green, Mortimer thought. That settled it. I will plant my sunflower seed, he said. Mortimer searched and searched for the right place. I need somewhere where the sun will shine and somewhere I can get water. Then Mortimer saw it. Ah, the perfect spot. Mortimer dug and he dug and he dug. He held up his precious seed. It looked delicious, but Mortimer dropped the seed into the dirt anyway. Oh, I hope the miracle comes true, he said, patting soil carefully around the seed. Then he found an acorn cap and lugged over capfuls of water from a small puddle of melted snow. Phew, gardening is hard work. Mortimer looked at his garden, nothing but brown dirt. He looked up and the sky was gray. Ugh, we'll see, he said. In the morning, in the morning, Mortimer woke up. Pitter patter, pitter patter, pitter patter, pat pat. Ugh, rain, groaned Mortimer. One in his garden, out in his garden, he found, ugh, brown, soggy dirt. Mortimer stomped his paw. Nothing. Ugh, I knew the miracle wouldn't happen. I'm going to dig up my seed back up and eat it. Mortimer said, but then he stopped. Maybe some miracles take more time. He looked up the sky and down to a seed. Please grow and turn green, he said. The next morning, Mortimer woke up to pitter patter, pitter patter, pat, pat, pat. Oh no, he said, rain again. Outside, Mortimer found brown, soggy dirt. No, 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 squeaked Mortimer. This won't do. My seed will never grow. How much time do miracles take anywhere, cried Mortimer. If I don't dig up my seed now, it might rot in all of this rain. But a gentle, quiet voice said, just wait. Who was that, whispered Mortimer. Wait, said the voice again. Only it wasn't just a voice, it was a feeling in Mortimer's heart. Suddenly, even though he was drenched with rain, Mortimer felt warm and protected. Then Mortimer knew the voice. Uh, Mortimer bowed his head. I will wait, but please make my seed grow. And Mortimer waited. On the third morning, Mortimer woke to a light in his eye. <gasps> Sunshine, bold and bright and beautiful. Mortimer scampered outside and found <gasps> green. 
where his seed had been buried, two green leaves poked up through the earth. Mortimer danced and Mortimer pranced. He skipped around and around the tiny plant. My garden, he cried, my miracle, thank you, God. Then he stopped. His plant was so small. And what was next to it? A weed. Mortimer plucked the weed and watered the baby plant. And every day after that, Mortimer checked his garden. He weeded, he watered, and he waited, and he waited, and he waited. And in the summer, warmth, a tiny seed continued to grow and grow and grow until one day in his garden, Mortimer found, boop, yellow. A giant sunflower had bloomed, big, bold, bright, and beautiful, just like the sun. Up, 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 climbed Mortimer. Down, 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 he looked. Mortimer felt as if he could see forever. My sunflower, cried Mortimer. It is a miracle. Thank you, God. Oh, whoa. That night, Mortimer cozied down into a bed of seeds and smiled. He stretched and yawned. Thank you, God, for my first garden, Mortimer said, looking at his bountiful pile. There were plenty of seeds to eat and plenty of seeds to plant next spring and even a few to share. Please, God, Mortimer prayed. I wouldn't mind a friend to help me eat these. And Mortimer fell asleep. I have a challenge for you guys. Mortimer had to find his sunflower seeds turn into a sprout. Let's see. Oh, there it is. Can you guys find anything in your yard that looks like something's about to bloom? Happy solstice!